I'm Richard from Glowing Embers and today we're going to talk about how to light a wood burning stove. There's lots of videos online about the best way to light a stove, how to light it without getting smoky into your room. Um, it's in essence a fairly simple process but a bit of information about how a stove works will help you understand the best ways of lighting it. A stove works by the flue system drawing the smoke from the firebox up the flue rather than out into your room. That's how you want it to work. To do that, the flue has to be long enough um, and we say a minimum of four and a half meters from the top of the stove to the top of the flue. That's to get enough change in air pressure between the stove and the top of the flue that the air naturally gets drawn up the flue. So that gives you the start um, of your draw, so when you're lighting the stove, that gives you the start of your draw. If you haven't got a long enough flue system and there's not enough difference in air pressure between the top and the bottom, then you will get problems when lighting your stove. The second time you get problems when lighting your stove anyway is if it's particularly cold, especially outside, then the air in the, in the flue is cold and as we all know, hot air rises, cold air sinks. Um, and so what we need to do is try and get the air in your flue as hot as possible, as quickly as possible, to start that draw. So the draw really relies on two things, the heat from the stove and the, the, the height of the flue um, pipe. So those are the two things we need to get to, to, to be able to light the stove successfully without getting smoke into your room. And to do that, we really need good dry fuel. Lots of oxygen, as much oxygen into the firebox as possible to create a, as big a fire to get everything as warm as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, and obviously you need the heat, you need uh, a match to start it. So this would be a traditional way of lighting a stove. You have a fire lighter right at the bottom with some kindling on top. Kindling is basically just thin bits of very dry wood that light really easily. Um, and then the logs on top. The idea being that the fire lighter lights the kindling, which then in turn lights the larger logs. And then once the larger logs have been lit, your fire's going. Um, and the trouble with this is that all the heat from the um, fire lighter and from the kindling goes into lighting the big logs straight away and not much of it goes up to heat up your, your flue system, which can mean as it's trying to light the larger logs, you get some smoke which doesn't get drawn up your flue and that's the smoke that goes into your room. So there are ways to avoid this. Um, there are a couple of, of ways, one of which is called the upside down lighting method, which basically reverses this, which we'll look at now. Um, but anything which really just lights uh, a fire that goes, the heat goes straight into your flue system is what you're looking, looking for really. Other ways of doing it can be just screwing up bits of paper, lighting the paper, a few bits of paper at the bottom, lighting those and all of that heat that, that just whooshes straight up the, the chimney and gets your, your flue system warm. That can work really well for some people. It's experimenting the best way for you, but I'll show you now the upside down lighting method. So the upside down method basically reverses the traditional method. You put the, um, the larger logs in first on the bottom and the idea is that the fire will burn down to, to light those logs. Um, but you want the heat going up into the flue to start with. So you put the large log on the bottom and then literally make a, a sort of hatchet of, of fire, uh, of um, kindling and put your fire lighter in the middle and then just keep building up. And you want a good amount of kindling on here to really light a good solid fire to heat this chimney up. And that's, that's the goal of this. Okay, so we've got our fire set up and ready to go. The next thing you need to check is that all of your air controls are set to fully open. You need as much oxygen to get into the firebox as possible. All of ours are here, so the next thing to do is just light a match and light your fire lighter. It's good to have a decent fire lighter. They really are worth, worth getting. Once that's nicely lit, I'll leave that match in there to burn as well. Put a couple more bits of kindling on top. And then we're just waiting for the uh, fire lighters to catch the kindling. What that will do is then burn up. All of that heat will be going straight into the flue system. And as 
more and more catches fire, it'll burn down onto the log and the log will finally catch fire. And you should be able to just leave this to go. Always leave the door open, at least a crack, um, whilst this is going, again, to get as much oxygen in. And once the fire's fully going, maybe you put another couple of small logs on once, once it's going a, a bit better, then you can close the door from there. So as you can see here, the fire's really going nicely. Um, there's a lot of heat being given off by this. That's all going straight to the flue system and there's no smoke in the room at all. And you can just see the log below here is starting to catch. That's a really good sign um, that it's burning down nicely. Um, and from here, um, it's about at the point where you can start thinking about closing the door or putting another maybe couple of small logs on before you do that. I think I'll do that. I've got a small log here. Um, I'll just pop that on the top and um, now that the flue has, is, is nice and warm and that should go nicely and we should be able to shut the door and leave that. Um, so I can just pop another log on there, close the door and that's your fire lit. Um, and again, you don't need to do it this way, you can just put the uh, kindling on the bottom and then put a couple of logs on top after a while. You can do it with some screwed up newspaper, but the principle is always the same. You want the flames to be going straight up into the flue to start with to warm the flue up so it takes the smoke away. And that's how you get a nice clean um, uh, fire without the smoke going into your room. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be kept up to date with future videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.